Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna try to bring this project from being a third person template into a first person project. So the first thing that we need to think about is, so since this is still a multiplayer game, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we are still keeping the third person character for us so that the all the other players would see us as a actual character. But for ourselves, all we want to see is the character's arms. So we need to somehow hide the third person character for ourselves and hide the FPS character for everybody else. So what we need is a first person asset. So I just simply imported from the default uh, first person template. So I have the mesh itself, so the arms and also I have the animation blueprint and a very very basic single animation so that's all I'm gonna be using but for the animation blueprint it's just about the same thing as it is for the third person character the setting up would be the same all we gotta do is just simply use some different animations as of right now all I have is just a single state and that's an idle state and that's gonna be all I'm gonna be using for this video but you probably wanna set up a better blueprint uh, I made a video previously about how to do that so make sure you watch that uh, it's very very similar there is barely any differences in those so the first thing that we want to do is go to our third person character and over here we want to change a couple of settings first we want to select the reference to our character so the self reference and we want to look for something called use controller rotation jaw and we want to check this to be true so now with this being enabled that means that once we press play you can see once I move my mouse the character is rotating with the mouse so we are rotating around just by uh, rotating the mouse and that's ex exactly what we will want for our first person template now let's go back to the blueprint and over here what we also want to do is we want to add a new component and we want to add a skeletal mesh and I'm gonna call this FPS mesh and we want to select our FPS mesh so I have my FPS skeletal arms there we go let's open the viewport so we can actually see those also we want to use the animation class so I'm gonna use my first person animation blueprint there we go you can see here is my animation and that's all that I'm gonna have for this video and also what we want to do is we want to unparent the follow camera from the camera boom and we want to delete the camera boom entirely we are no longer going to be using that for the first person now let's bring this down to the follow camera so that uh, the mesh is a child for the camera so that the mesh would follow the camera always so I've already tested this before so I have some predetermined pre-made values so for the camera I'm gonna use the 23 in the X 0 in the Y and what it was 65 yeah, 65 in the z-axis so this is going to be my camera location and then for the mesh so since it's relative to the camera uh, these locations are going to be 3 minus 7 and minus 160 there we go but they are a little bit sideways uh, I was adjusting those previously so 2 on the y-axis was a good value and we need a minus 90 or 270 so that the arms would face the same direction as the camera does and now one more thing that we want to do is we want to select the FPS mesh and then what I want to do is scroll down till I find the visibility and I want to set this to be false by default so that by default those arms are invisible. Also I want to turn off the lighting cast shadow so that there wouldn't be just <laughs> hand, hand shadows floating uh, that will look very very strange. So with this being set up what we can do now is go to the event graph. Let's look for our begin play event and over here this is very important we need to have this if branch check for is locally controlled because we're gonna set the visibilities only locally uh, so that nobody else would change these properties uh, as in so that the third person character would still be visible for everybody like it is right now but the, it wouldn't be visible for us and so that we see the arms only so what we want to do is first let's bring in our FPS mesh and we want to set the visibility and we want to set the visibility for the arms to be true so that we can see our arms then also let's bring in our third person character mesh and we want to do the same thing we want to set the visibility and for this one we want to leave the new visibility to be false so that the third person character would be invisible to us 
One more setting that we want to change is in the follow camera, we want to make sure that we check use pawn control rotation so that uh, the camera would rotate with the character properly. So now if we press play, let's test this out, you can see, well, here is our arms. But if we walk in front of the other players, you can see they see the character, but they don't see our arms. Oh, my meshes are too lightweight. I need to give them some weight and some angular damping. So as you can see, ourselves, we see the arms, but everybody else sees our character. So this is working just fine. And now what we need to make sure of is that once we equip something, you can see, we can see this in the hand, The all the other characters can see that it is in our hand, but you can see for us, it's not really in the, in the arm, it's where where our third person character would be, but since it's invisible, well, uh, it looks a little awkward. So we gotta fix that. To do so, we must go to our mesh, FPS mesh skeleton. So since this is a skeletal mesh, obviously it comes with a skeletal and we need to give this guy some sockets. So let's select our hand left. Let's add a socket and I'm gonna call this FPS weapon two. So the left hand is gonna be two. And then we want to add a preview and adjust this socket to where we want it to be. So uh, actually first let me go to the preview scene and change the preview controller to use a specific animation. And in my case, this is the idle pose, this one right here. So we need to adjust the socket depending on the animation itself. So 90 degrees like so. 90 degrees like so and let's move this into a location there we go so you might want to adjust this a little more uh, i'm using just a very basic setup as of right now but well this will do the trick and we want to do the same thing for our right hand so let's add a socket and this is the fps weapon one Let's again add a preview so that we can adjust this socket properly. So we need maybe this insertion. Move this in and let's adjust this. There we go. So that's going to be good enough for me for now. Seems to be all right. So let's save that. Let's close this. So let's remember the socket names. So FPS, Web 1 and Web 2. Then let's go back to our third person character and let's look for a function called Equipment Visual. Here is our equipment visual function where we attach the actor, uh, the weapon actor or any other equipment actor to our mesh. And over here, what we want to do is once we have done all of this, once we have equipped a mesh, we want to do a if. And over here, what we want to do is again, check if is locally controlled. So is locally controlled. Let's connect that so that we would do the next part only for the character that is actually doing this thing because everybody else should still be able to see the weapons inside of the third person character but for us we want to see those in the first person character and the rest is pretty similar to what we already have done on true we want to do a switch on int switch on the integer just like we did over here so now let's add a couple of pins to this one and what we actually need is only two pins for this one as of right now because we only will attach things to two of our sockets so the left and right hand so i'm going to begin with index number three so we need the left hand and the right hand so for the selection we want to use our local slot index just like we did for the previous switch over here and then from these ones, we want to set our local socket names. So let's set those. And so let's see. So the index number three in my case is going to be the FPS web one. And the other one is going to be the FPS web number two. Then we want to, uh, let's see, attach actor to component. I'm just going to simply actually copy this node like so. You can create a new one, it doesn't really matter. Make sure you use the get reference for the local socket name, not one of these, uh, because we want to first set one of these and then we want to use this value right here from the get. So make sure we snap to the target and for the parent, we want to use our FPS mesh, but well, we have the local player reference since this is a multiplayer system. So let's make sure we get our local player and then from the local player, we can get the FPS mesh at the very bottom. 
like always there we go let's connect that one to the parent and for the target we want to use the same target that we used for this one so that is this spawned actor right here so i'm going to do a quick reroute and connect this to the target like so there we go let's compile and save this let's press play and let's let's test this out so let's pick up a couple of weapons so we have that weapon so let's let's try to test this out let's move this aside a little bit so that we can we can see from everybody's point of view so we have the weapon there we go you can see i'm holding my gun i don't have animations for it so you should probably adjust those but well you can see in the in the other character preview right here you can see this guy is holding a gun just like he's supposed to and we can unequip this it works just fine add a axe and as you can see everybody can see him running and every animation is getting ran properly it's just that we now see something different than everybody else so i believe that is all that there should be for this system i hope i didn't didn't forget anything uh, in case i did leave a comment down below so okay i can adjust this as well uh, but i'm not gonna make my system fps it's gonna still stay in the third person template later on i do plan on doing some changes with the camera so that we can zoom in and zoom out but as of right now we're gonna still stay in the third person uh, template for now but well if you want to bring this to the first template well you can now you know how to so thank Thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and i see you in the next episode